Hello beautiful Aquarius. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for stopping by. This is a love reading for Aquarius. Enchanted Fern Grotto. A refuge. Build a, a refuge in your love life for you and your beloved. Nice energy. Aquarius. Guardians of the land. Protection. So your relationship is very much protected at this time. Very much feeling as though the two of you want to have a very intimate relationship that does kind of closes out the outside world. And prosperity, be spirit. Look at that. Ooh, Aquarius. You've had such good readings lately. If you haven't seen your last love reading here, take a look. It's all about really winning in the game of life and love okay so aquarius what do we have here for you beautiful energy okay so let's cut the deck and see what we have we have two of coins you have a choice to make is your overall energy and we have the queen of pentacles the ten of pentacles a choice about a committed relationship looks like it's on the table all right so let's take a look and see what we have we have in the recent past three of cups maybe a friend has become a lover you have a friend that wants to become a lover that is cancerian energy the knight of pentacles is moving forward in a very dependable fashion very much the energy of you know monday through sunday being reliable calling texting keeping in communication it's a great energy for stability and building stability in a relationship it looks as though there is a lot of passion here my friends there's a lot of fire in this connection so this is the energy though of the knight of wands and knights come and go and the knight of wands could be all about in and out energy you know it's about living in the moment whereas you know the the gemini the energy of virgo is very much about building a future so the way that I see the situation going forward for you is collaboration. The two of you may work together, especially with this Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Coins, that's sort of the architect and the, the builder, the designer, and the customer there. So what we see is two people who really are very much on the same page. Threes are the Trinity, it's happiness, it's joy, but that Three of Cups says it. I feel as though you've known this person for quite some time. We have in the heart space, look at that, the lover's card, Gemini energy. This is about making a choice. So is the relationship, will the relationship stabilize or will it stay, uh, you know, lighter, a more lightweight relationship? But it looks like it's headed for a lot of stability here with these energies. We have the, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so somebody coming in very quickly with a lot of news. Something to tell you. Gemini energy. We have the Three of Swords, which is hidden here in the relationship. So there's been some sort of discord or hurt feelings. Something about either you, Gemini, excuse me, you Aquarius and or your person. But the Three of Swords really speaks to the fact that the circumstances, you know, could be challenging in your relationship. The Queen of Cups. You love each other. My God. The Queen of Cups is, you know, Cancerian energy. It's about nurturing the relationship. You know, you really have great communication and that's what I see changing. I feel as though in the past that the two of you have just sort of let it flow and not really having been very serious, but very much your person wants to change this energy. They no longer want to deal with anybody but you. Um, and we have, oh, Nine of Cups, your wish is fulfilled. This is the card of the fairy godmother, godfather of the Tarot, and it is about wish fulfillment in love. Nine of Cups, it's very much about being part of a community, about, you know, being out together in public, having fun, really living life, living the good life. 
So let's see what the clarifiers are here. Let's see. Let's dig into this reading and see what's happening here. And prosperity is headed your way in this relationship, and we can see that. There are a lot of coins here. There's a lot of building going on. So let's see what we have. Why is the Three of Cups here? Tell us something about this Three of Cups energy, please, Spirit. There we go. The Moon card. So I think in the past, the two of you kept your feelings, or you currently keep your feelings, under wraps. You don't talk about them a lot. You adore being with each other, but you don't really, you're not mushy, as they would say. But look at that, Magician energy. That is Virgo energy, as well as Gemini energy. So when we get Virgo, Gemini, and then the Magician card, we see two people who are not talking much about the relationship, but really just in it to win it every which way but loose and it is fabulous energy look at this six of wands card that's winner winner chicken dinner your person and you really are going to move forward and it looks as though you are making a commitment to each other the six of wands can be an engagement it can be a very public engagement hello jumbotron at the football game with the kiss on camera and then the ring on bended knee so it's very public. It's like wanting to really introduce your friends to your person. Even though the two of you are very private and you are, you've are you built this sort of really safe space with refuge and protection. So your relationship is very resilient. There's not any outside influence that can really come into this relationship. Moving forward after a time of player energy, moving to better times, better places the nine of swords reversed taking the uncertainty out of this relationship aquarius really being very much solid solid together the four of cups says that neither one of you were satisfied in that energy both of you really want something stable you want a committed relationship and you're both on the same page you are very much in um in the energy of being aligned with one another that is a person, you know, both of you are like, well, if we have player energy, then where's the love? You know, both of you want that stability. So that is beautiful. Okay, so the three of coins is collaboration, working together, making things happen, building something of value long term. Ah, clarified by the three of wands, you both have chosen one another. This is your proverbial ship has arrived in the harbor, Aquarius. You both feel as though this is the person that you can count on, the person that you can have your future with. So we have a card that flew off here. Let's see what we have. We have the Justice card, Finding Balance, Libra Energy. Libra Energy can also be all about, you know, a marriage license, a prenup. It's all about perhaps buying property together, signing legal documents together. But it's very much about being balanced and happy and very content in the relationship. The Lover's card is clarified by the Two of Wands, making a choice. These are the two making a choice cards in the tarot deck. So the choice used to be what the Lover's card was called, but this is a soulmate energy. Making that choice, you've already made the choice by with this Three of Wands energy. So it speaks to the fact that you've been there, done that, you're happy with it. You, um, you feel as though you have a future to look forward to. The choices that you're making now, you've already made in the relationship, um, are really healed your hearts. There was a part of you that both, both of you felt in this energy, Aquarius, when you met each other, that life had been a bit rough around the edges for you. And the two of coins, when you actually invested in each other, and shows each other, um, you know, we have the energy of happiness. Look at that Ten of Pentacles. That is a legacy marriage. That is one of prosperity and abundance. So you are really creating something quite beautiful for yourself, Aquarius. This is going to be a very happy and joyful relationship. And look at what popped out over here. We have the star card, wish fulfillment, hopes and dreams for love coming true, Aquarius. That's your card. 
there you are in your reading. You are manifesting this new love with the person that you care about. Let's see what else we have for this star card energy. What else do we have? You have had a period of time in which you felt you were being juggled, but you're not. It's, what we see here is the fact that you and your person have solidly chosen each other at times when you were just kind of messing around and not very serious. You threw yourselves into this energy, but look at that. I mean, now the clarifier is that both of you are always holding on to each other. So that is hopes and dreams for love coming true is the meaning of the star card. It's about having healed a relationship, healed yourself, being in a good spiritual place, being joyful, being uh, very calm and peaceful about your life. And that is you, Aquarius, being very soulful about your choices. The star card is Aquarius. Why do we have the three of swords here? What is interfering in this relationship? What is it that has interfered in this relationship in the past that is healing at the present time? There we go. We have Temperance card. So it does look as though the two of you, when you weren't solid, dated other people, and that caused a lot of discord and hurt for both of you. Nine of Swords, you didn't want to deal with it. Six of Swords, you're currently moving away from it. But it does show that that player energy on either one of you or both of you has now, it's being tossed out. You're just making the absolute decision to be, um, you know, to just have each other to cut out any sort of other people in the relationship, anybody who would interfere, you know, other, the in and out energy is gone. The temperance card is about balancing sweet, kind, loving energy, Aquarius, nice. So what do we have here? Tell us something more, please, spirit about this. Yep, see, what we see here is the Knight of Wands was causing the heartbreak this in and out energy was very painful and now it's in the past so that soldier the knight of wands is riding off into the future after recognizing that the heartbreak was very real and you're coming together in a very uh, solid way here the temperance card is about balancing things sagittarius energy so we have a lot of we have all the signs on the board here we do have capricorn we have and then we have the Libra Queen. Okay, so the two of you are very rational. You know exactly what you want. You're making that good head over heart decision. You're, you have a lot of clarity about what was heart, what was breaking both your hearts in the relationship was the allowance of just not to make, not making a commitment. So now you are very much commitment oriented with this this reading. The Queen of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords. Look at that clarity about how much you love each other clarity spirit is recommending that you love each other and you recognize that love and move forward rapidly the eight of wands be passionate be loving be committed go forward the ace of cups build that new love Gem uh, excuse me aquarius i just did gemini's reading there were some the air signs are having a very good time in love right now gemini's reading was phenomenal also and so we have the energy here that says that the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Cups. And look at the difference, okay? It's interesting because there was some sort of energy in this relationship where eat, drink, be merry, went along with being, you know, having fun and being spontaneous. But as you can see with all this Cups energy, we have this Four of Cups, Dissatisfaction. The Nine of Cups is supposed to be happy, but in this reading, in the, with this card, this person is like, well, partying all the time didn't get me where I wanted to, it to get me. And so it does speak to the fact that there was some sort of toxicity in the relationship as you were facing that energy. But it is wish fulfillment, and it does speak to the fact that no matter how much you may have dated other people, no matter how much you may have partied, you are really stuck on each other, you know. Tell us more about the devil card, please. What does this Capricorn energy mean? really speaks to the fact that you are not satisfied with other people. Three of Cups, you were best friends. 
you were best friends trying to pretend that that's all you were okay we have the empress the empress is clarifying that devil empress is powerful energy about love why is the devil card here though six of pentacles okay so what i see is that both of you felt as though the relationship was just bound to being at work that you really didn't have another choice so why what makes the devil card go away what is making that devil card go away because i feel it is very strongly yep there we go the full card we have the not the king of wands reversed is was a devil energy so somebody here really liked to flirt and i'm getting with a new beginning and the ten of cups look at that the ten of cups the ten of pentacles that is commitment relationship that's going from the nine of cups to the ten of cups going from this oh i'm having so much fun just kind of fooling around to you know, fooling around isn't so much fun, and actually it's not getting me what I want, and being a big flirt is not working, and I'm not happy that way is what, what you or your person is saying, whoever that, you know, whichever one of you it is, but I feel it's your person. And here you are, there you go. You are off to the Ten of Cups. So Aquarius, this is really, really a beautiful reading for you. Now I'm going to look at just the energy of your person. I'm going to segregate the cards right now, and I'm going to look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions, okay? So let's take a look at that. I'm going to clean this up quickly and see what we have here. And Mercury Retrograde really hit hard. I normally would edit this all out of the details, but until Monday, I don't have a tech support person to help me. So I apologize for this short delay. Thank you for your patience. I'm so grateful. I do offer personal readings also, and the information is in the description box below. I do have very high ratings for accuracy for personal readings. So, All right, so let's jump in here, Aquarius, and take a look at this. Let's see what we have. There we go. So your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. Okay, two of swords. In the recent past, they were not telling you much. They are, their thoughts are to, they're still holding back in love a little bit. You know, there's, oh, there we go. There we have the, the Aries queen. Your person is going to stop holding back now. They go from like, oh, I don't want to talk about my feelings to, actually, I sort of love you. This is their thought process. Oh, and you are my beautiful queen of wands, Aquarius. You're sexy. You're beautiful. You're hot. You're everything that I could possibly want. So in their heart space, there is some wounded feelings of, you know, turmoil. And we see this hermit card. So I feel as though that what I'm witnessing here, Aquarius, is that you may have broken it off with this person. It looks as though there was a period of time and they're really healing from this energy still. Uh, we have now the hermit card. So we had the knight of pentacles before, uh, really steadily working on the relationship. But let's look and see why we have this, uh, the Four of Swords here. What was it that was making this person feel? Yeah, the Moon card. So their per your person was not in uh, tune with their feelings. And this Tower card says that, you know, you brought the Tower down. Right, there we have it. We have the Libra Queen. So that energy says that you put a stop to the relationship and it really wounded your person. Like they couldn't believe it. The Five of Swords energy, you definitely put a stop to this. And you basically said, you know, this is not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to do this anymore. I've developed feelings. And now we have the beautiful, handsome King of Wands upright. So that's Leo energy. So you may be dealing with the Leo. But what we see is that your person is now in this very upright, you know, coming towards you the right way in their heart space after being heartbroken about the fact that you broke it off with them so for for whom it resonates this is what i'm seeing this is how it's unfolding so let's see what their intentions are with you to tell oh they want to tell you how they feel here they're holding their feelings back now they're rushing towards you 
So the two of you may have gone through a period of time of, you know, being apart. Look at that. There we go. The Knight of Pentacles again coming towards you. Wanting to go backwards and talk about the past and what happened. Um, and having a lot to say about that. And in the future, their intention is to move forward. They're spying on you on social media. Look at that. Ooh, the Emperor card. The Emperor. We had the Empress in the first uh, spread of cards as your outcome was the Empress and so now we have the Emperor so your person's intentions are to make this the real deal your person very much wants this to be strategically they're planning to make this relationship come to fruition so there we go the outcome cards for you at this time look at that we now it's okay so ten of Pentacles has come up now twice okay not four times twice twice so we have the Six of Wands, a victory in love with a legacy marriage. It looks like there is, it looks like your person is planning on proposing. Okay, so there we go. The High Priestess energy, they're not going to tell you until they make a public worthy, newsworthy announcement. The Two of Wands, they are making the choice and we saw that earlier. So... Aquarius, beautiful reading for you. Thanks so much for joining me. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what you think of the reading. Thanks.